Hi and welcome to Tea Talks with Jess video series. My name is Jess. Uh, today's question is how, uh, what exercises can I do from my desk um, to support my neck and back pain? So there are some, typically we're not designed to spend the majority of our day, uh, particularly our working day, in this position here. It shortens the muscles or it tightens the muscle um, in our uh, chest area um, and it causes this kind of rounding of the shoulders. Instead, we should be much more balanced. We should have more distance between our ears and our um, shoulders. So what can we do to kind of contract it? So one of the exercises, um, obviously if you think about this position, we're looking to kind of reverse that motion. So, you know, really kind of opening out that um, chest area and bring our, uh, drawing our shoulder blades together. Um, so one of them is cat cow. So you can do this, obviously this, you might be familiar with um, the cat cow in yoga, but you can do it from a seated position. So first of all, um, sit up um, nice and uh, tall um, on your chair. If you can, um, and make sure that your uh, feet are touching the floor, keep your shoulders away from your ears, um, and let's just start in this position. So let's just take a couple of breaths, breathing in. Exhale. Let's do one more breath together. Exhale, nice and slow. Good. So we're going to breathe in on the next one and send your shoulders back, looking, taking your gaze up towards the sky. And then exhale, let's round the shoulders, tuck your chin towards your chest and round your shoulders forward. Inhale, open up. Exhale, chin to chest. If it feels more comfortable, you don't need to bring your um, neck all the way up, so you just want, might be want to bring, breathe in. And then exhale, rounding that movement, arching the spine, bringing the distance, shortening the distance between our rib cage and our hips. Inhale, open. Exhale, round the spine. So you can see already in that movement, it just even kind of with this motion here, just the spine alone, let alone our shoulders being, you know, purposely drawn open, it can just really help with um, just giving a different dimension to the spine versus being in this position. Um, another great option is a nice thoracic spine twist. So again, um, let's bring your feet to the floor, hands can um, sit nicely on your thighs, and let's breathe in, raise your left arm up to the sky, and then exhale, see if you can bring your left arm towards your right hip and send your gaze over your right shoulder. And then reset. Breathe in, see if you can send your gaze up. And then exhale, see if you can twist, looking over to your right shoulder. Do three on one side and then repeat exactly the same, inhaling up. Exhale, see if you can either hug onto the outside of your elbow, that can sometimes feel nice, or maybe you want to hold on um, and really kind of grab um, your opposite hip, looking over that opposite shoulder. So that just encourages obviously this uh, lateral um, mobility here, whereas the cat cow, um, you've got kind of a more of a vertical uh, movement going on. So anything to um, add another dimension into the spine is going to uh, prevent that kind of static movement that we spend the majority of our day doing. So there's lots of other uh, exercises, but I find that those two are the kind of the easiest ones to do from a, a seated position. With the thoracic spine twist, you might want to put one knee um, over the other, and then if depending on your chair, you might want to put uh, one hand um, just by your right hip. Inhale up, exhale, and see if you can bring your elbow towards your knee, just to give you a little bit more uh, tension, and then you can get an even deeper stretch, and then switch it the other side. So I'll just quickly bring my, so again, um, one knee over the other, inhale up, exhale, bring that knee, the elbow over the knee, on the thigh, and a nice gentle twist. That one always feels really, really great. Um, so any other questions on mobility, fitness, nutrition, um, health, yoga, send them my way, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.